So, you're thinking about joining the Army Cadets as an adult volunteer. We've put together this short presentation to give you a better idea of what the Army Cadets is all about and to help you find out if becoming an adult volunteer is the right thing for you. The presentation should take about 20 minutes or so. We advise you to have a pen and paper handy to note down any questions you may want to ask when you catch up on the phone with your contacts at County Headquarters. But before we start, let's just take a look at a short video to get a flavour of what being part of the Army Cadets is all about. Training is absolutely amazing. Archery, raft building, caving, sports, skill at arms, up and compass, field craft, shooting, first aid, pipers and the drummers, mountain biking, climbing, kayaking, the Duke of Edinburgh Award, going on walks around different parts of the country. You get loads of opportunities to do so many things. The ACF has probably boosted my career. Loads of courses that we can go on, but the most rewarding thing about being an adult volunteer is seeing the cadets progress. What the M kids achieve is amazing, and you're actually part of that. Gives you that edge above someone else. You're different. It's a life-changing experience for you as well as the cadets. The ACF in three words, fun, inspiring and definitely challenging. You make loads of friends. You learn life skills, you get to go all around the world. It's probably the most fun thing you'll ever do in your whole life. You may not realise this, but the Army Cadet Force, or ACF as it is often called, is one of the country's foremost youth organisations, with an impressive heritage going back more than 150 years. The organisation has gradually grown over the years, so that now there are more than 41,000 young people taking part in cadet activities every week, in 1,700 different locations across the UK. The ACF is sponsored by the Army, and we adopt the Army's rank structure and deliver some military-style activities. That's where the link lies. To dispel some misconceptions, we are not part of the regular army. We're first and foremost a youth organisation. We don't try to recruit adults or cadets to join the army. But if people want to join, we will give them information and advice. To join as an adult volunteer, you don't have to have military or cadet experience. If you're keen to join and you have the right qualities, you will be given all the training you need for the role. The Army Cadets has two main goals. Firstly, to give young people access to a broad range of organised challenges, adventures and activities that will help them to develop. And secondly, to encourage them to do well in life and become good citizens. It's all very well structured, with cadets following a syllabus called the Army Proficiency Certificate. And, as they progress, they're awarded star levels. There are four star levels, leading to the Master Cadet level. The activities give young people the structure and discipline they need to achieve success. Some of the skills learned in cadets can be invaluable too. Cadets have been praised in national media for saving lives with their first aid skills, and every cadet learns to do the ironing. Building musicianship, sportsmanship and overall self-confidence, these activities are all available to our cadets. And the more you do, the Duke of Edinburgh's award, taking part in national sporting competitions and even travelling abroad in expeditions, as an adult volunteer, you will be trained to help, guide and lead cadets to fulfil their goals. Alongside each adult volunteer is a team at the local detachment. Behind each group of detachments that make up a company is support from one of 57 county headquarters throughout the UK. You will currently be speaking to someone at the county headquarters level. All in all, as an adult volunteer, you can be sure that you are well supported as part of a structured national organisation operating in 1,700 individual communities. It is important to restate that you are not signing up for the regular army or reserves, and we only support cadets to think about an army career if that's already their own plan. Another thing to mention is about the language. If you haven't had a role in the cadets before, or you haven't had a military background, some of the words and terms might feel unfamiliar and even confusing at first. We understand. And we will help you get comfortable with any new terms. We'll give you a glossary of terms, and if anything is at any point unclear, then let us know and we will help. So, let's talk a bit about Army Cadet Force Adult Volunteers. 
First thing to say is that they're just normal people. They're men and women, younger and older. Some might be in their 20s, whereas others might be in their 40s or early 50s. And they come from all walks of life. Yes, some are ex-military, but most are not. What they all have in common is the desire to help young people in their local community. So, what do adult volunteers actually do? They lead, supervise and organise the activities that cadets do, week in and week out. They help them work towards their Army Proficiency Certificate and, in some cases, work towards the Duke of Edinburgh's Award or BTEC qualification. Sometimes there are weekend activities and there are opportunities to supervise cadets during annual camps at different locations across the country. Adult volunteers are also there to support, inspire and encourage cadets, to get them to challenge themselves to do more, to do their best and to learn new skills and grow in confidence. Our volunteers perform an important role for the organisation and the community. The vast majority of adults connected with the Army cadets are volunteers. They are the backbone of the organisation. But it isn't all give, give, give either. Our adult instructors love seeing young people develop, but they also benefit by developing their skills and confidence, building leadership ability, making lasting friendships and having fun. Adult volunteers training, development, experience and upskilling is acknowledged by being given higher ranks, very much in the style of the army. There is progression through the stages from civilian assistant right through to becoming a regimental sergeant major instructor. You can go further too. Some adult instructors choose to apply for a commission and become an ACF officer, leading their own detachment. These ranks progress from second lieutenant right through to colonel. So what do we expect of our adult volunteers in terms of time? As a civilian assistant, we would ask for one to two evenings a week, or whatever you can give. For ranks of probationary instructor and above, we do expect a couple of evenings a week, but this does vary area to area, so do check. There's the occasional weekend of activities and training plus annual summer camp. But, just to sum up some of the benefits, you may be volunteering, but there are some big gains to be had by being an adult volunteer with the Army Cadets. You can build your CV with new and better skills, and you can also gain formal qualifications. That's all on top of the satisfaction you can have from helping young people in your local community, whilst having a great time in the process and making new friends. We also make sure you don't go out of pocket. There are certain expenses allowed too. But don't just take our word for it. Let's hear from some of the people who really know what it's like to be an adult volunteer. It's absolutely there for anyone. It doesn't matter what kind of background you come from. My day job is a uh, police officer within the borough of Westminster. I make stage wear for a living. I run a plumbing and heating firm. I work in the construction industry. I work for BMW. I was never a cadet and I was uh, never in the armed forces. You have the ex-military guys, you have the civilians that have done nothing military before and you have the guys that have been cadets before. And I think the organisation only works because you have those three types of individuals uh, within the uh, organisation. The most rewarding thing about being an adult volunteer is seeing the cadets progress. Very shy 12 year olds come in, not sure what they're going to be doing, not sure what they want to be, and they progress into a 16, 17 year old, very mature, very confident adults that know exactly where they're going in life. We offer them this fun and challenging environment, and you know, you all of a sudden you bring them out of the shell and you help them find new skills that they didn't even know they had. There's huge benefits for adult instructors also. Like loads of courses that we can go on. The ACF has probably boosted my career. I've been away on training courses with the Armed Forces and I've also done uh, leadership management courses. Where I work in an office, you wouldn't get these sorts of opportunities offered to you. I spent six weeks in Canada this year doing expedition, a lot of adventures training, kayaking, mountain biking, hiking, climbing. There's just so much on offer, why not give it a go? As a result of being in the ACF, I think I'm definitely more confident in, in everything I do, not just the, uh, the ACF stuff itself. The ACF has helped me uh, with my confidence. When I was younger, I was quite a shy, timid person, believe it or not, and my family see a big difference in me. It definitely improves your ability to, to communicate and, and to work together as a team more and, and to build your confidence to stand up in front of people and talk and teach. The instructor's training course really challenged my abilities of how to teach, how to learn, how to instruct. I think I have more confidence in my ability to take on things that I've never done before. Leadership skills, confidence, saying really what you mean rather than how you feel perhaps, you know, getting the job done. I've got a lot more friends, my social life is a lot busier and I seem to be travelling around the world a whole lot more since joining the ACF. I think it's made me a better person. It's made me understand the different types of kids and cultures and ethnicities they come from. 
The more effort you put into it, the more you will gain from the ACF. It's great fun and really rewarding. Mentally quite draining at times, but, but so rewarding to see it all happen. What the M kids achieve is amazing, and you're actually part of that. The best thing about the ACF for me is the friendships that I've made, the skills that I've learnt, and the influence I've had on the young people. It's a life-changing experience for you as well as the cadets. It's a no-brainer. If you, if you love the outdoors and you want qualifications, then join the ACF. As is the case for so many things in life, and this holds true when it comes to army cadets, the more you put in, the more you get out. So what are we looking for in our adult volunteers? You have to want to help our young cadets progress and achieve, often by your personal example. You need to be a team player, to be willing to learn and to communicate well. You also need to understand the principle of giving and following direct instruction. We need you to have basic reading skills, and you have to be willing to put in the time to fulfil the role properly. Young people are going to be in your charge, so there are some checks we need to make with everyone applying. That means personal references as well as basic background checks. It can be a physical role, so we have to be sure you're up to it. You will have to have been resident in the UK for at least three years and be within a suitable age bracket. None of this is complex, and your contact at county headquarters will guide you on how to get these checks done. Let's just run you through the process ahead of you. The first thing is to be sure, in the light of all the information that you've received, that you want to proceed at this point. Next step after that is to have a follow-up call with your contact at County HQ. They'll then arrange all the background checks. Once confirmation has been received that you are eligible to proceed, you'll be asked to come along for an interview with one of our senior recruitment people at County HQ. If everything has gone well from your point of view and ours, you can then be appointed as a civilian assistant. This means you may be able to attend a detachment and start to assist and learn the ropes. The next step is to attend a familiarisation and assessment session, along with other new recruits. Following this, if all goes according to plan, you will be appointed as a probationary instructor, or PI. This is your first formal rank. It has its own badge, and you will really be able to start contributing to the activity at detachment. There are a couple of training weekends that you will need to participate in later on, in order to become a full-blown adult instructor with the Army Cadets. This whole process of training and orientation can take some months. But because it is rigorous, it does mean you'll be fully confident and competent in your new role. OK, that's probably been a lot to take on board in one go. You might want to run through this presentation again if anything is unclear. So, to sum up, if you're encouraged by what you've learned here and want to find out more, get back in touch with us using the contact details given by email with this presentation and make a note of any questions you have for us. Thanks again for your interest in the Army Cadets. We hope you continue with your application and wish you every success in the future, whatever you decide.